the American defeat and withdrawal from Vietnam. 1968 proved to be a turning point in the defeat of America in the Vietnam War. At the beginning of uh, 1968, as part of the New Year celebrations, the Viet Cong launched what's called the Tet Offensive. In the Tet Offensive, Viet Cong soldiers la launched a massive attack on American bases. Prior to this, it was the Americans out on patrol who were looking for the Viet Cong who were in more danger from Viet Cong attacks. In the Tet Offensive, the Viet Cong take the attack to the Americans. They attack American soldiers in previously safe American bases. This really, really scares the Americans because they were already fearful when they're on patrol, but now they know they can be attacked anytime, any place. Even though there are massive losses for the Viet Cong and 20,000 soldiers were killed during attacks, it was still seen as a success for them. This triggered off, was one of the triggers for the American withdrawal because they were losing and they could not win the war. We've seen how the American tactics were poor and the Viet Cong tactics were good. Well, there are two other reasons as to why the Americans withdrew. The Americans also withdrew because of the cost. The cost of the war was huge. The financial cost was massive. By 1968, America was spending $20 billion a year on the war in Vietnam. The human cost was also huge. 58,000 soldiers had been killed in Vietnam. So the fact their tactics failed, the Viet Cong tactics were too good, meant that they were going to lose. They could not win the war. The Tet Offensive puts pressure on them to withdraw, and so does the cost. Combined with all these things, we've got the, the role of the media. The media play a huge role in the withdrawal of America from Vietnam. The Vietnam War was one of the very first media wars. That means that people sitting at home in their front rooms could see on TV what was happening. They could see the American soldiers, average age of 19, being wounded and being killed. They could see what was happening to the Viet the Vietnamese people in South Vietnam. They could see what was happening because of Napalm and Agent Orange. and All that helped to build a campaign against the American involvement. This campaign got bigger and bigger and bigger through peace demonstrations and the peace movement. President Johnson, the president at the time, there were chants against him. Chants that said, hey, hey, LBJ, how many kids have you killed today? Now that could be American soldiers, kids at 19, or it could literally be Vietnamese kids that he has killed. Either way, the protest gathered and the chant stuck as a way of protesting against what Johnson and America were doing in Vietnam. There were other peace movements. In Washington in 1969, 700,000 people attended what was at the time America's biggest demonstration in an anti-war protest against the war in Vietnam. You also get not only people being killed in Vietnam, but unfortunately at Kent State University in Ohio, four university students, four American students were killed during a protest there. This adds to the momentum, adds to the media profile of what's happening in Vietnam and builds a campaign to persuade the Americans to withdraw. The peace demonstrations, the media, the cost, and the, and the Tet Offensive. A further thing which kind of contributed to, to all those things, the peace movements, the protests, and the media, was the Mai Lai Massacre. In March 1968, Charlie Company, a group of American soldiers, led by a man called Cali, William Cali, attacked a village. They were told that that village was harbouring, was keeping Viet Cong soldiers. So the American soldiers go in and they kill about 300 South Vietnamese people, who they suspect of being the Viet Cong. However, it ends up that they kill women, children and old men. 
they're not really going to be Viet Cong soldiers. But because the Americans are frustrated, they vent it on those people that are there and they kill them. They try and cover it up, and it gets found out and gets reported. They try and say that they're Viet Cong soldiers, but it's obvious that they weren't. The pictures of the young children, of the women, of the old men lying in a drainage ditch were published in America, which only added to the, the momentum against the war. In 1968, Johnson starts peace negotiations with North Vietnam. He's trying to, to agree a way that the Americans can withdraw and that a peace conference can be arranged so that a peace treaty is signed between North and South Vietnam. Johnson also decides not to stand for re-election. In 1968, the new president becomes Richard Nixon. Initially, Nixon increases the bombing campaign, but this is hugely unpopular. He then, while the peace negotiations are going on, tries to implement a policy of Vietnamization. Vietnamization is a policy whereby the Americans are going to train the South Vietnamese to fight for themselves. They can train the South Vietnamese to fight for themselves while the Americans carefully withdraw. This will allow the South Vietnamese to fight in the place of the Americans while the peace negotiations are going on. In 1973, after a couple of years of negotiations, a peace treaty is signed. This allows America to withdraw its soldiers. And by 1973, the last American soldier is removed from Vietnam. They had been gradually removed in the previous years while the policy of Vietnamization was being pursued. But in 1973, the last American soldier left. Nixon declared that he had got peace with honour because he had negotiated safety, security for South Vietnam away from the communist North Vietnam. However, by the end of 1974, the North Vietnamese are attacking South Vietnam, and by 1975, the North Vietnamese, Ho Chi Minh, had captured, they'd conquered South Vietnam, and they were going to turn the whole of uh, Vietnam communist. This means that all of the previous effort, expense, time, money, money everything that America put in, had effectively been wasted. We've seen how, why the Americans lost, and we've seen why they withdrew and how that withdrawal took place. It still left massive consequences behind for the people in Vietnam. The effects of the chemicals used by the American soldiers took a long, long time to wear off. The amount of land destroyed, the farmland destroyed, took a long, long time to recover. So it took, this, it took South Vietnam in particular a long time to recover from the American influence it had had. You just need to make sure that you can fully explain other reasons as well as in terms of the impact, the consequences of the Vietnam War. They lost because of the tactics of America were bad, the tactics of the Viet Cong were good. This forced them to withdraw, we'd get the tent offensive, we'd get the My Lai massacre, we get the peace movements, the demonstrations, we get the cost, and then we get Nixon and Johnson withdrawing carefully and gradually, which brings the end of the American involvement in the Vietnam War.